Anna Dunda is making pasta. That and porridge make up her diet, which she shares with her mother, for whom she cares. Together they earn a thousand dollars a month in pensions. They own their small apartment, so there's no rent to pay. But as energy costs rise, many of Dunda's neighbors have received electricity bills they cannot pay. And when hers comes, she says she'll take to the streets. I won't pay it because I can't. Who can be all right with 500 or even 1,000 euros? Who can eat and pay the utilities? No one. This is life or death. Rising energy costs are reflected in food costs. The government is subsidizing farmers' fuel even more than usual and has halved sales tax on animal feed and fertilizer. But it's not enough, says Dora Papa, who runs a pie shop in central Athens. The fresh meat and vegetables that go into her pies have gone up 40% since last summer. Since Christmas, her electricity bill doubled. I didn't raise the price of my pies. I added 50 cents to the price of other foods. It doesn't cover my increased costs. But if I put prices up further, I'll lose customers because many of them are pensioners. I'm going to wait. If I can't make ends meet, I'm going to reduce the kitchen staff and work longer hours. Energy costs rose by more than 15 per cent last year across developed economies, the highest annual rise in 40 years. And that's what's driving most inflation. Here in Greece, electricity prices alone tripled last year, and the government is spending more than $2 billion subsidizing energy costs for households, businesses and farmers. Greece has been one of the most exposed European economies to energy price shocks because 40% of its electricity is generated from imported natural gas. The energy subsidies are moving Greece away from its goal of sustainability, says one environmental think tank. This is really a fossil fuel subsidy. Uh, these are much needed funds that could have been used for uh, energy efficiency projects, renewable energy uh, projects, energy storage projects, as well as support of uh, just transition in the lignite regions of Greece. Greek incomes were battered by an eight-year depression following the 2008 global financial crisis, and they still haven't recovered. In politics, that vulnerability is a greater concern than the long-term goal of sustainability. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.